On one side, a father who doesn't want his children vaccinated against COVID-19. On the other, a mother who does. The result, a dispute in court. It is the first written decision on this issue in Alberta. Public court documents show the couple, now divorced, have joint custody of a 10- and 12-year-old, giving them regular childhood immunizations and the annual flu shot, disagreeing only over the COVID-19 vaccine. In Lethbridge Court, Justice Joanna Kubik ruling the father is, quote, not able to make decisions in their best interests after engaging in and sharing vaccine misinformation with the children, putting them under stress. Now the mother has full authority over matters pertaining to COVID-19 and the children, including health treatment. The court citing one well-reported vaccine efficacy and similar legal cases in Saskatchewan and Ontario. I think the court did a really uh, robust analysis, you know, given the very contentious issue and, you know, the polarizing nature of the issue. I think that it, this case highlights the bias of the courts generally with respect to this issue. The father is also now censored from even discussing the virus with the children and could be stripped of other health decisions if an impasse occurs in the future. Catherine Kowalchuk is his legal counsel. My client was not presenting information that was conspiracy theory. The information we provided, we felt, was very um, practical and from legitimate sources. Kurt Schlachter, representing the mother, says this case will set a precedent going forward. I think it's only a matter of time before these cases work their way through each provincial court system, but they've been consistent and they've all taken the same approach, which is uh, to take judicial notice of the fact that the pandemic is real and that the vaccines are safe. When it comes to children deciding for themselves, legal experts say every case is different, but ultimately depends on age and whether or not they're considered a mature minor. Gualchuk says they're currently deciding whether or not to appeal the decision. Eloise Terrien, Global News.